Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me today on this beautiful Monday morning. Before I get started, I want to say my usual thanks to people who have left me some lovely comments. Kim, Beverly, Bridget, Christina, and Ivy. Again, thank you for subscribing to my channel and leaving such lovely comments. Just real quick, I'm going to show you uh, tag 42 that I did, and the prompt was tag on a tag on a tag. So I have three tags here that will hang on my book ring. And this first one, I just did a small little stitch there with some fabric that I had once made a quilt out of. This, I kind of collaged some different fabrics and did some bullion knots here, some blanket stitches here, seed stitches here, and then some French knots there. And then here, I couched some of this gorgeous, gorgeous silk. And then this silk was from Steph Francis, and I felted that on with a couple of French knots. So that's that tag. Then tag number 43, the prompt was fringe. And so we did a blanket stitch, and then you just weaved different threads through to uh, formulate some fringe. And then I will be working on tag number 44 later on today. So I want to do a flip through of one of my journals. Now I'm going to show you four of them. I did four of these nursing journals and I'm only going to show you the fronts of the four of them. This one here is all done in ivory and black and gold. This is a picture of Florence Nightingale, and it is fabric. I copied it onto muslin fabric. I put a little bit of lace around her bonnet and her collar, and then this is some ribbon here with a little pearl there, her name on a nameplate. This is a tablecloth. This is the rest of the tablecloth that I used. And that's what I covered it in. They all have a chain with dangles on the spine. And they all have the initials RN, which means registered nurse. A lot of them have a hand because we uh, have helping hands or use our hands a lot with it, caring for patients made especially for you. I did have a video on how I did these little charms here this is a picture of a vintage nurse from the red cross i put a doily on the back of it and then the closure on this one is sari silk every single one of them is basically the same on the inside they all have the same amount of pages I did a writing board for each one of them. And so that's the front. And then there's my letter. So that is the black and ivory one. Then I have a purple and a little bit of a blue one. This one I believe is already spoken for, for one of the nurses that I work with. She wanted purple, so I did some flowers here. Again, that same tablecloth and a different background fabric here. They all have a hard cover um, uh, front, back, and spine to them. This has the silver charms. Again, the initials are in up here. A little syringe there. A nurse's cap, again, made with love. This is a different nurse here. And on the back, I continued with that ribbon. And then again, it has a sari silk closure. I probably will never do four journals at one time again. 
<laughs> it was it was it took me way over a month to do these journals it, but it was fun you know how that is with us crafters uh, again this is the same tablecloth that I put on the front and in the background is yellow on this one I put journal on the front the spine here has the gold embellishments with just one little brass one but again it has RN a stethoscope and the nurse's cap and then on then on the back I put a little bit of a yellow doily that I cut and again it has a sari silk closure like I said they all have the same amount of pages what I did is as I was working on them, I would just make four of the same thing, but in each color, in pink, purple, yellow, and then ivory. This is the one I'm gonna do the flip through for. This one, I think is probably one of my favorites. It's a pink one. Again, this is a background fabric. I think I got that at Joann's. And this is from an Etsy store. I print the word journal on fabric. I got this background fabric from my sister, Carrie. These, I believe, are from you, Miss Ivy. You sent those to me, so thank you. They look beautiful on there. This one has the, um, I think it's called Antique Brass. Again, RN, handmade for you, and then uh, this is Florin, Florence Nightingale there. And then I kept this back one fairly simple with the exception of this little bit of, um, what's that called? It's not ribbon, lace. Oh gosh, you guys know how I get. <laughs> and then it also has a sari uh, closure that is double. It's double um, sari silk. And like I said, they're all pretty much the same. They all have a pocket on the front. And this I got from uh, Deseret Industries or my local DI. This is my letter, letter to um, my person that's going to buy the journal. journal. Oh. And I embossed this envelope and then put a little bit of vintage photo on there. I think I also had coffee stained it too. They all have uh, this book belongs to. Here's a little bit of ribbon here and some little trim there. Like I said, I did make a writing board for each journal and it's clipped on with a paper clip. I think I'm just going to put that over to the side and all the papers pretty much coordinate. It has four signatures. They all have four signatures. And um, like I said, the same amount of papers in them. And in each of the signatures, I always use a strong cardstock for the front page and the end page of each signature. So they all have this embossed image here. This was given to me by a physician who retired. He, he actually was my doctor. And when he retired I, and he was closing up his office, I asked him, uh, Dr. Kuroda, if there's any medical books, journals, textbooks, anything that you have that you're going to just toss away, can you give them to me? And he gave me this one book that has all these wonderful images in there. Um, this is um, um, a shunt. And um, like I said, most of this book would be for a nurse. So she's going to understand that. This is a large journaling card in which I did some research. And these are all the different languages for the word registered nurse, large journaling card there. I embellish every single page of my journals. This is some coffee stained graph paper and this is some vellum here about a pharmacy. I made these clusters. This is actually uh, 
a page from my medical dictionary that I've torn apart and I've placed it in there. I use washi tape to really strengthen my pages when they're delicate like this. And then this is from your creative studio, some of their um, sticky stickers, journaling page there, journaling page there. I had bought a kit off of Etsy, a nurse's kit. It didn't have a lot of papers. If I was a graphic designer, I would make a nurse's kit because I really have gathered a lot of nurse images. This is tracing paper that I coffee stained and then I glued this pink leaf there. This is actually a vintage piece of a ledger. Authentic. This is a copy of some nurse's notes that I coffee stained. This is an original piece. I believe this paper is from the early 1900s. This is uh, Florence Nightingale that I did a little snippet on. Again, a little background of Florence Nightingale journaling page here. This is a little pull-out card, journaling card. And this is from a book about nurses. I believe that book was from 1917. Then I collaged this with fabric and there's some physician orders there. This has an envelope with a prescription. This is an authentic prescription from 1928. And you would never see this now where a physician would write a prescription in pencil. It's always in ink, but I've noticed on a lot of the real older prescriptions, they are written in pencil. So that's, I find is interesting. I made these vellum pockets with some stamping up vellum and glued them together to make a pocket. Then this is fabric and I stamped with my clickable stamps, the word nurse here. Uh, this is the kindest thing is not always the easiest thing for either the patient or the nurse, but always the best in the end. What makes me think of that is when a patient has had surgery and we have to get them up soon after surgery and make them walk so that they don't get a blood clot and they also won't get pneumonia and other complications. It's difficult and painful for them, but it's in their best interest. I make sure I always give my patient pain medicine 30 minutes before I'm, I'm going to get them up. Here's some journaling cards here. This is, I think this is just a picture of an older nurse. This looks like a nurse from the 1950s, 40s, something like that. There is a little fabric embellishment there. There are three journaling cards in that pocket. This is some vellum that Stamping Up at once sold, at one time sold, and I coffee stained this. Another little journaling card with the other side of the pocket here. And this is a picture of a couple of nurses. I believe this was in World War I. Journaling card there. I made this fabric little tab here. This is a Creative Studio sticker. This was some of the uh, dangles and embellishments from last Monday's tutorial. I love making these and I think I will be probably putting them on all of my journals because they seem to fit the best on journal pages. This is just some, you know, wording. A kind word is like a spring day. This is a library pocket with a card. 
This is a real book from 1926, uh, Methods and Principles of Teaching, the Practice of Nursing. And there's a copy of the front of the book. A definition of the nurse over here. A person who cares for the sick or the infirm, specifically a licensed healthcare professional who practices independently or is supervised by a physician, surgeon, or dentist, and who is skilled in promoting and maintaining health. This is the other side of that old ledger paper, tracing paper, journaling areas. The other side of the Tabor's Medical Dictionary. This is a little um, embellishment collage cluster that I did. Nursing ought to assist the reparative process. This is some of the coffee dyed paper I did where I showed you in a tutorial. Here's another leaf. And I'm going to show you, I colored all these leaves. This was from a medical book. This was the Krebs cycle. Oh, we had to memorize that. That was, that was painful. Little journaling card here. Oh, is that the Krebs cycle? Wait a minute here. Now I'm confused. I don't think that is. That's not the Krebs cycle. I do have the Krebs cycle somewhere in here, but that's something else. Uh, and there's the back of the first signature. This is the front of the second signature. And I did just a little dangle here with this nurse on a bulb clip with a fabric tab there. This is, I know somewhere in here, I actually, well, this is from 1899. This is an authentic um, piece of a ledger. And I know on, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, uh, one something organic for I don't know. I can't see that. But I do have pharmacy pages. Authentic. 1898. This is a page from a medical book with a nursing, nursing uh, journaling card there. Love what you do. Again, just another picture with a cluster. This is a book. I believe this book is from 19... 23 and it also has another one of those dangles like I said I love those dangles this has a little syringe there a physician order sheet this was a fun sticker I found talking about cannabis medicine and you know in I don't know 60s and 70s or whatever a long time ago we thought ooh, you know marijuana is not good and it, it isn't good for your lungs to smoke but there is a lot of people who use cannabis for combating nausea and vomiting with uh, chemotherapy and a lot of medicinal uh, properties with it. So I've kind of changed my attitude about this over the years. This is a paper bag here. This is a picture of a nurse with a patient fabric that I stamped again and I've got just a little bit of trim there another little collage there of a cluster this is a picture of a Red Cross nurse with a little frame in a paper bag with another little envelope with a journaling card with a you know how to become a nurse That's Florence Nightingale there, too. Since this is so bulky, that's why I put it in the paper bag. This is a picture of Florence Nightingale in which I added a little bit of black lace at the bottom and then a little bit of ivory trim here. Her name there. This is the Florence Nightingale Pledge that we recite 
when we graduate from nursing school. And each signature in the center, I've added some dangles. This one is a little picture of some nurses with putting on nursing shoes. This one is an older nurse there or a vintage nurse from a long time ago. She doesn't look that old. A little uh, stethoscope here. I failed to show you the center of this one back here. I apologize. This is a nurse from, I believe, World War II, where they were asking nurses to join. And this is from a, a pattern from a nurse's uniform. And then here is again, Oh, this is just a little dangle there, pink dangle. So I showed you that, showed you that. And then in this pocket, I haven't put anything. This is talking about uh, uniforms for nurses and uh, about Florence Nightingale in the 1800s. You can just t take a screenshot of that if you want to read that, but I'm not going to take the time to read it to you guys some lace here, another little cluster, lots and lots of room for journaling in my journals, a little flip out here of that nurse, let me get up close and see if I can see, can't see the date on that, looks like World War I area. Uh, what nursing ought to do. This is from the Tim Holtz um, stamps. I bought all of his stamps that had bones and brains and skulls and rib cages and everything. So I did a lot of stamping with his set, which is fantastic. Oh, a blank page. I didn't put anything on there. Heavens, heavens to Betsy. Um, this is just a little pamphlet that I made. It takes the nurses to lead the way with just some journaling pages in there. Just a few. This is a, a vintage uh, receipt there. Again, that was probably from the early 1900s. Just a lot of, a lot of little pages. Just a blank piece of paper that I had coffee stained with pink flowers on it. Um, the first known use of registered nurse was in 1876. This again is that authentic 1827 ledger. Now see, this says three and a half grams. So I think this is from the pharmacy book. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a pharmacy book. You can journal here. I made this little pocket here. This is laps that we use uh, on our delivery tables. And I think I've told you before, if a patient ends up going for a C-section when they thought maybe she was going to have a vaginal delivery, we've already made up the uh, sterile table. And we can't use that table any longer because she had a C-section because it's a delivery table. Then we can take the stuff off of it. There's fantastic containers. We take the laps. That's where I've gotten my hemostats because otherwise they are just thrown in the trash. So I've repurposed a lot of my laps. This is a picture of nurses feeding babies. I'm sure it's in the nursery. They look pretty tiny there. And then there's another journaling card here. These are nurses from way back when. Probably early 1900s. I should have done a little more research and written this stuff down for the dates for you guys. That's the end of the second signature. Now the beginning of the third signature. This is a little flip out with a little pull out that I copied this on vellum. So it looks like an authentic x-ray. Actually, I went to our x-ray department and asked if they had any 
old films and they don't even keep things on film anymore. Everything is on a digital and the radiologist looks at it on a computer. So they don't even print out films anymore. They've gotten rid of all of them. That's sad. I wish I'd have gotten some before. This is some of the avocado paper that I dyed. I think it came out quite well. This is a um, page from that book, Notes on Nursing. I think this was Florence Nightingale's book. It's a reprint that I have. Notes on Nursing. This was funny. If a patient is cold, if a patient is feverish, if a patient is sick after taking food, if he has a bed sore, it is the fault not of the disease, but of the nursing. Ooh, that was a quite a little jab at us, which is true. It actually is. Uh, How to Become a Trained Nurse from 1899 from Medical Library. And then this looks again from like World War I. This is some beautiful paper that I got from, I think it's called the paper source that I just put in there. It's like a mulberry paper. Ooh, another empty page. You gotta put something on there. Little little um, glued flowers there. Nurse. This is a doily in the center here, and these are from Tim Holtz stamps. And then here, again, is that picture from World War I, a little dangle that I put there. And then I'm sure I did a, a tutorial on how to make these, but this is just using a tab punch and washi tape. And then they go on the end of your sewn signature. This is another one of the dangles that I made, a nurse's cap with a heart. Small little stethoscope over here. Oh, I need to come in and do a couple of more things on this journal. Bell Creative Studio sticker here. And if you look, there's pictures of nurses on all of these, you know, in the background, temperature. Notes on nursing. Yeah, this was Florence Nightingale's book. This is just a little tag here that I put on a paper clip embellishment that I had made some time ago. And that is the end of the third signature. And then the fourth signature. This one I actually took the outside of a pair of sterile gloves and I cut it down and glued it to make a pocket. Here's a couple of pictures here where I put the wax on them. Looks like it's kind of bubbling up a little bit there. They feel fun. They feel good. Some nurse's notes here in which I put some lace on the edge. This book here is authentic. It's an instrument book. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to just grab it because I'm interested to know what year that was. I bought this book at an antique store. It's fallen apart. And um, 1924. So it's fun because look at all these pictures of instruments. So I'll be able to make more nursing journals, but that, that's a fun page. This I got off of Amazon. It's a, a book weight, and boy, it's fantastic for when you're gluing stuff down and your pages won't stay down. Coffee stained or uh, avocado stained paper, coffee dyed paper. This is one of the Tim Holtz little um, pockets that he has a die for, and I just have four tags in here to journal on.
classic, classic um, image from World War II. This is actually a strip from a laboring patient. Uh, there is no name. I've made sure there is no name, but that's a contraction there. That is the baby's heart rate, and that is the mother's um, heart rate. A stamp that I, I think I bought this stamp in Las Vegas of a surgical nurse. This is an envelope flip out, so it just flips over. Uh, this is a nurse, again, probably late 1800, early 1900s. It almost looked like she's in a orphanage because those are toddlers there. But the envelope has a journaling card in it, and then on the... Inside here of the envelope, it has the word hospital that I stamped on fabric, just a little cut out, some cheesecloth, and some music paper, then the word vintage, and then this is from one of the books that Dr. Kuroda gave me. This is an actual picture of an operating ward in Bellevue Hospital in 1875. And look, I find that nobody has a mask on when they're, you know, before they're doing surgery. That is, that's fascinating to me. But again, just a nice little journaling page for you. Another one of the Tim Holtz stamps and then this one has notes on nursing there with a little um, jewel on there a little bead and then patient there and again a picture of a nurse these are nice because they lay flat in the book and then if you want something a little bit more substantial on it then it hangs down at the uh, end of the book and then on this pocket is another picture from that book that Dr. Kuroda gave me. And this is from uh, 1901, again, uh, operating in Roosevelt Hospital in New York, 1901. Three journaling cards here. This was interesting. This was an advertisement for cocaine toothache drops. They were 15 cents. I don't have the date on that. I think that was a freebie from somewhere. This is talking about nurses' shoes and um, pine tar soap. This little paper clip here with a um, little journaling card. That's the only picture I have of a kind of a grumpy nurse. Maybe she's not grumpy. Maybe she's just old because I'm 67. And sometimes people will say to me, are you mad? And I'm like, no, I'm not mad. Well, it's because we have those deep lines that make us look like we're sad or mad or something. So maybe she's not mad. She's just old. Here's the other side of that um, uh, fetal monitor tracing. Another contraction there. Florence Nightingale here. Nursing the sick, little understood. Just folds out. This is some washi tape from uh, the washi tape store. They have fantastic washi tape. This is the other side of that surgical instrument book. This is a flip out here with a journaling card. 
This is an authentic prescription. And I don't have the date on when that one was, but it has a, a journaling card in there. It had to be from the 50s or so, 1950. And then this is the back of the last signature. This is from that book, the Book of Home Nursing, General Care of the Patient. This was from the book, and I, I thought it was pretty funny. I took it out. Never put a cold bed pan under the patient's back. Pour hot water over the pan and dry before using. When you remove it, cover at once with a cloth kept for that purpose. The patient should be bathed and dried carefully each time after using the bedpan. This was written back when we used metal bedpans. They're plastic now and they just get thrown away after a patient's use. This is just some stamps here. I think this was a freebie from someone. This is a end of a handkerchief, some more fabric with a little bit of lace there. This is a page from that book from 1917 about um, this is a picture an easy way to nurse a baby and telling you to wash an apple before you give it to your little girl <laughs> oh but anyway so those are my journals my nursing journals what I'm going to do is like I said the purple one is spoken for then I think one of them I'm going to give to my boss and see if the other nurses want to uh, have that be our gift from the staff to her. So then there will be two for sale. I will offer them to my coworkers first. Uh, they are $125 each. If you would like one, let me know. Uh, that does not include shipping. Uh, so if I have any left over and my fellow co-workers don't want them, I'll let you know. But um, if I know them, they are going to snatch them up and they're going to want me to make more for them. But anyway, I can't wait to get excited and uh, start on my Christmas journals. That is next. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a great day and we'll see you next Monday. Bye.